Hello students, Stride here again. Today you're going to look at section 1.2 titled Chemistry and Matter. You'll need to be able to compare and contrast mass and weight, explain why chemists are in this what we call a submicroscopic description of matter, along with submicroscopic. We'll also talk about microscopic and macroscopic. And then look at various, understand the various branches of chemistry. Our main idea, branches of chemistry and involve the study of different kinds of matter. We'll review vocab, technology, practical application of scientific information. There's our new vocab. You're going to be getting just three little terms. So matter, as we've had before, anything that has mass and takes up space. Mass is a measurement that reflects the amount of matter. Weight is a measure of mass and the force of gravity on an object. Weight can change from place to place, but mass is constant. Says your weight on the moon would be less than your weight on the earth, but your mass on the moon would be the same as your mass on the earth. So much of matter and its behavior is macroscopic, meaning it can be observed without a microscope. Microscopic means you gotta have a microscope to see it, such as a structure of a cell or you know, structure of a bacteria. So we can observe many things, like we can observe a piece of paper burning, we can observe two chemicals reacting together, but our structure, composition, and behavior of the matter is described on the sub-microscopic or atomic level. And we explain things that happen that we can see on the macroscopic level. We explain those on the atomic or submicroscopic level. And in a model, a verbal, visual, or mathematical explanation of experimental data. And here we get a whole number of different types of chemistry. You'll want to understand a little bit about each of these types. In this course we're going to spend most of our time working at inorganic chemistry, but we do touch on in this and in advanced chem, things like physical chemistry and analytical chemistry. Environmental, industrial, touch on organic, and others. A complete chart of this is on page 11 in your textbook. So, no, be a good little chart to copy down. The complete chart from page 11. Here is the chart from page 11. Oh. Blank is anything that has a couple review questions. Blank is anything that has blank and takes up space. So matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Chemist tries to explain submicroscopic events that lead to macroscopic observations. Brief little things you should know. What you should do is, on a continual basis, make sure you're reading the section in the textbook, adding any additional things they have in the textbook that you may that seem to be important, or write down any questions you may have. Bring them up in class. So that's all we have for now. Until next time.